hope so. This is the third night in a row I've had to stay past nine. I'm starting to forget what my family looks like. Oh. Oh, come on. Simone, he just emailed. He wants the title page changed again. No, it's fine. I'll take care of it in the morning. You get out of there and you go home. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Mrs. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis. Just a few more questions, okay? Did you happen to see where your attacker went? Uh, he ducked out of sight uh, when Simone showed up. She must have scared him off. Well, he's lucky he ran. I would have smashed his face in. And you're certain you didn't see anything either? No. We were both working late on a presentation. I left a few minutes after Beth, but I heard her honky, so I went over to her car, but I didn't see anyone there. And you can't remember any distinguishing features, any scars, marks, tattoos? Um, no, it, it was dark. Um, he was wearing a mask, so I, I didn't see much. OK, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you my card. If you can remember anything, no matter how small or unimportant it might seem, I want you to give us a call, OK? We're we'll gonna do everything we can to find this guy, okay? Thank you, Detective. Yes, of course. We'll be in touch. You want me to stay? Oh, no, I I'm fine. You sure? I'm the queen of couch surfing. <laughs> I'm okay. Love you. Love you. Can I get you anything? Some tea, maybe? Some chamomile coming up. Is all this? Oh, thought I'd try something I did in a granola bar for breakfast for a change. Honey, you don't have to do that. To what? Pretend like everything is normal. That was a pretty scary night last night. I know. I was there, Nick. But I'm just trying to move forward now. Look, why don't I call into work and uh, maybe you, me, and Jess can spend the day together? No, I don't want everyone knowing about it. Yeah, that's <laughs> gonna be rough. Oh. Jess takes her SAT next week, and I don't want her to be distracted. You can't keep a lid on this. Keep a lid on what? Um, the frying pan. <laughs> oh. Well, we should get a new one. Yeah, we should. There you go. Wow. What gives? Nothing gives. Just feed it. Uh, hey, can I borrow five bucks? Carmen and I want to study at Phil's diner after school. I don't think that's a good idea. We always study at the diner. Well, not today. I want you to come home. Mom, I thought we were over this. We are over this, but I still want you to come home straight after school. Mom. End of discussion. Dad, 
Do what your mom says. Fine. Hey, where are you going? To school. Or is that not allowed either? Have your father drive you. You know, helicopter parenting is a pejorative term. Hey. I love you. I'll see you later. Great, thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Trevor, what's going on? I'm just checking up on you. How you doing? Best I can. Nick, you know things have been a little tight since we lost the bowling account. I noticed the coffee's gotten worse. Bowling took hundreds of billable hours with. We're gonna have to make some cutbacks. Cutbacks? Layoffs, downsizing, cleaning house, whatever you want to call it. It is not gonna be fun, pal. Am, am I, should, should I be worried? Listen, we want to keep this quiet for now, but I want to give you a heads up. You have been doing great work. However, your billables are down. Yeah, I mean, there hasn't been a whole lot of clients. I understand that, but we're going to be making all our decisions from here on out based solely on revenue. I need to make it rain. We need to make it storm, hurricane. first five or six times I call your name. Sorry. What's up with you? What are you doing here? Well, Greg needed the changes on the title page, and there was an error in one of the tables. Beth, come on. I just really need the distraction right now. I get that. I do. Have you thought about talking to someone? I'm talking to you. Oh, you know what I mean. <sighs> You've gone through a traumatizing experience. There's no shame in trying to get some help processing it. I know Dr. Ellis has some openings right now. No, no I'm fine, you. Simone. Beth, you really need to get some help. No, what I need is to finish this before lunch. SAT coming up next week, and that's what you need to be focused on. But mom, I'm not six years old anymore. If something like this happens to you, then I should know. I should have told you. So what now? Well, the police are searching for him, and apparently he's attacked several women over the last few weeks. Well, what if he comes here? No. I, he doesn't know where we live, Jess. We're safe here. But you didn't seem to think that this afternoon. I'm sorry I scared you. It's just, uh, I'm still working through this. 
You know, maybe you should talk to someone. Maybe. Oh. Dr. Ellis? Sorry, no. Well, let me guess, it's your first time at therapy, you don't want to be here. You're wondering if you can bolt for the door before anyone sees you. <laughs> don't worry, it's completely natural. Would you like to come wait in my office? Oh, no, thank you. You sure? I have fresh coffee. Well, when you put it like that. <laughs> sure. Okay. Follow me. That must have been terrifying. I guess so. You guess so? Well, it sounds like you're afraid to own your feelings. Nothing really happened. I didn't get hurt. Some of the other women, I mean, it could have been much worse. So you feel like you don't deserve to have a reaction? Beth, it's, it's just you and me in here. Whatever reaction you're having, it's legitimate. Somebody tried to hurt you. It's okay to have a reaction. I just, I feel like I keep going over and over it in my head. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something to deserve this? I mean, I know it sounds horrible. No, there's no horrible. It's just the way you feel. I feel terrified. I feel like he could be waiting around every corner. If I let my guard down for just one second, he could die. Beth, you can say it. He could finish what he started. You know, if you like, you and I could work together maybe to help you not feel like this anymore. But, Dr. Ellis, I... It's up to you. I'm sure that Dr. Ellis could help you, too. If I could, I could work with you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Thank you for the coffee. Mm, of course. Licensed marriage and family therapist. Specializing in cognitive behavior. Hey! Marriage. Hey. How'd it go with Alice? Actually, it didn't. You didn't go? No, I went. I just went with someone else. What does that mean? Uh, another therapist in the same suite. Marsha? Uh, I emailed Dr. Ellis. Okay, well, that's a little random, but uh, how did it go with Marsha? Um, really well. Huh. You were right. It helped to talk with someone who... Can't tell anybody what you said under penalty of law. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna go back? Twice a week. I'm proud of you. I think I am too. I just felt really comfortable with her. We clicked. Good. All right, back to work. Uh, yeah. I need those um, by two o'clock, by the way. <laughs> Bethy Kurt, isn't that cute? Someone is I get it. Simon and Hodel is a great firm. So if you're happy with them, yep. Okay. Bye. Got a minute? Dozens of them. What's up? Let's walk. We got a walk in looking for a new firm to manage his late father's portfolio. He is massive. Could turn this whole thing around, bro. That's that's great. It is great. And what's especially great is she asked for you specifically. She did. Mm hmm. Let's see the boss. I hope we did not keep you waiting. <laughs>
Nick. Marsha, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Come on, you two. Step on in here. Thank you. Mom, where's my phone? I don't know where I came. You're sure you don't want to just study here? Mom. They're here. Study hard. I like you guys. A lot. We like to be liked. So, uh, how'd you hear about us? Oh, you did some work for a friend of mine last year. A firm downtown. Ah, the cars. Yeah. Said wonderful things. I tell you, I like the fact that you are a family firm. But I do have to tell you that I am going to be meeting with Wolf and Waldron as well. I'll tell you what. Give us a few days to put together a proposal, and we'll get together next week sometime and explain to you why we beat the pants off of Wolf and Waldron. Over dinner? Absolutely. In fact, if you like the family touch, why don't we skip the restaurant? Nick's wife is a fantastic cook. Actually, you know what? Uh, Beth's got a lot going on at work right now. Maybe we can do Sabatinos? Oh. Okay, sure. You know, I'm not getting good reception up here. Uh, Wolf and Waldron, that's at 6th Ave. You know what? I'm sure it's fine. How's Tuesday at 7? I'll bring the wine. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Great. Great. Uh, see you Tuesday. Pleasure. Thanks Thanks. so much. So, do I get to keep my job now? Keep it. You sign her, I'll put your name on the door. But don't tell her that when you have dinner. Wait, me? I, I thought this was an us. Well, she seems comfortable with you. I think it's best if you handle it. Save the firm. We're all counting on you, Nick. You got it. Assuming my wife doesn't kill me first. So you think she'll be ready? Hmm. She's certainly working hard enough. Barely seen her all week. <laughs> She's always studying. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. How would you feel about spending a little quality time with her in the kitchen? Okay. Okay. You know that uh, new client I was telling you about? Mm hmm. Trevor might have invited her to dinner on Tuesday. So? Here? Yeah. I know, oh, I know. God. I'm sorry. I should talk to you first. She's talking to Wolf and Waldron, and I think Trevor just wanted to make an impression. And it's fine. I'll just tell him you can't host. I, I don't want them to know what happened, Nick. I'll just come up with an excuse. I'll tell him our dining room table got it exploded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should have paid attention to that recall notice, right? I'll come up with something. No, that's silly. No, no, no. Don't do that. Um, we can host. Are you sure? Yeah, I know how much you need this new clients. I don't want to push you into something if you're not ready. Mm, we'll make it work. You were literally an angel sent to Earth to <laughs> marry me and make my life better. <laughs> and you are a cheese ball. <laughs> <laughs> when is this dinner? Tuesday, 7 o'clock. Well, I'll see if Simone's free to help. Oh, can you ask her to make those little cheesecakes that I like? You are pushing <laughs> Fine, whatever. Do you deserve you? <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> love you. How were the last few days for you? Uh, better, I think. Good. Better how? I felt not necessarily less scared, just more able to cope. Nick's been really supportive. Almost too supportive, actually. I think he's just worried about me. And what about Jess? That's complicated. How so? Um, Beth, remember, it's just you and me in here. Uh, well, uh, Jess and I, we're just starting to get back on track. Last year was a really rough year for her. She ended up stealing a car and wrecking it. She had been drinking. Wow, it's scary. Yeah, I've never been so angry and so relieved at the same time than when I picked her up from the police station. Was I working too much? 
Was I ignoring her? I mean, what kind of mother has a, a daughter who does something so stupid? <laughs> I don't think it's about the kind of mother, really. It just, it's adolescence. They have half of the brain capacity, twice the amount of hormones. They just do stupid things. She was so embarrassed. I actually promised her I wouldn't tell anyone about what happens. Not even Simone knows. That's a lot to carry on your own. I think she realized that she really could have ruined her life, and she's really turned things around. And you don't want to risk that. <laughs> she's working so hard. She's applying to colleges, and she's studying for the SAT. You know, she studies every day after school at Phil's Diner. They do have the best coffee, but uh, she's got a lot on her plate. I just think that it's best if I keep my own problems my own right now. Anyhow, uh, speaking of problems, I do have a dinner to go make. Oh, <laughs> what are you making? Uh, salmon and risotto. Salmon, I love salmon. Bring me leftovers? <laughs> Will do. Beth, you are doing really great work in here. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Marcia. I'll see you soon. Yes, you will. <laughs> there? Uh, who? Marcia, Marcia! Uh, excuse me. Please, you need to sit down. I'll be with you in a moment. She's not returning my calls. I need to talk to her. I need to okay, talk to okay, her. Okay, okay. Please calm down. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Do you need me to call? No, no, no. You, it's fine. You can go. Are you sure? It's fine. Please. 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 Okay, this way. Oh. Okay. Okay, well. She's not here. No. She's not here. She wants me to give you a message. Well, you, you talk to her? What did she say? She said she doesn't want to see you anymore. What? She, she wouldn't say that. She, she changed promised. her mind. No, no, no. I, I, I want to talk to her. I need to talk to well, her. Well, you can't talk to her. And if I ever see you again, if you ever come back here, I'm going to have to call the police and let them know everything that's in your file, Jacob. You can't do that. Oh, I can do that. I can do a lot worse than that. Don't test me. You know what? You know, maybe I can help you. How's it going in here? Uh, ready in five. Great. Simone, many cheesecakes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You didn't let her add too much cayenne, did you? We're out of cayenne. I subbed in ghost pepper. Yes. All right. I'm going to check on the grill. Thank you, honey. Okay. How you doing, Simone? You need some help? No. I am finished. Oh. Of course. They're oh. early. I can get it. Uh, no, it's it's fine. You, know, you stay here and help uh, Jess with the sauce. Okay. Marsha, Beth, uh, what are you doing here? Is everything okay? Uh, yes, I, I had no idea this was your house. I'm just supposed to meet my attorney for dinner. Uh, your attorney? You are the new client. Oh, <laughs> my father left me his real estate holdings, and, and they're a mess. Uh, anyway, that never mind. It, it doesn't matter. This must be so awkward for you. I'm gonna leave. No, please. The whole point of this dinner is to impress you. Are you impressed? <laughs> Are you sure? I don't want to stay unless you're completely comfortable. Uh, Marsha, hi. hi. Welcome. <laughs> I see you met my wife, Beth. We've definitely met. <laughs> right, well, come on inside. Dinner's almost ready. <laughs> this is perfect. Thank you.
This is delicious, Nick. I can't take the credit. Beth and Jess have done all the hard work. I just threw it on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> Mother-daughter team. Yeah. Jess is a real whiz in the kitchen. Jess. Oh, I was just telling Carmen I'm just gonna be a little bit late. Oh, did you have plans tonight? Just studying. Uh, Jess is taking the SAT next week. She's been putting in those hours, hitting those books. <laughs> well, I appreciate you making time to cook for us. Oh, like we said, we like to put the family touch on things at the firm. Ah, I <laughs> see we've reached the hard sell portion of our <laughs> evening. I wouldn't call it a hard sell. <laughs> you know, why don't uh, I get these dishes out of here? Hmm? Jess, yeah, I'll help you. So, I know you've been taking a um, couple of meetings, but let me tell you why Motley and Mitchell is the perfect fit for your portfolio. Hey, time for dessert? Uh, just about. Um, Mom, I'll get the rest of the dishes. Thank you. <sighs> so, how's it going down there? Well, just as well as you'd expect when your therapist shows up to dinner with your husband. <laughs> Still can't believe she stayed. Oh, I asked her to. Nick could really use the new client right now. No, what he needs is a swift kick in the butt, okay? She should not have stayed. Do you need any more help? Because I have to go study. Uh, before cheesecake? Simone spent the whole afternoon on it. Oh, my secret ingredient is misanthropy. Thanks, but I just want to get back to the books. Um, okay, well, you know, Jess, your father and I would really love it if you stayed. Well, Mom. Okay. Need any help with dessert? I'll be upstairs. I think we're good. Uh, everything okay? Everything's fine. Marcia, have you met Simone? No, it's nice to meet you. Isn't it a little weird for a therapist to show up at a client's house? Simone. No, it, it's okay. I really wouldn't have come if I had known. I'm sure. So you must know Brendan. From your office? Yes, of course. Love Brendan. He's been my therapist for years, but, uh, never been over for dinner. Would you point me in the direction of the powder room? Of course. It's, uh, straight down the hall on the right. Mm -hmm. What? Do I really have to answer that? Uh, I'm sorry. It's just a complete violation of ethics. Okay, well, tonight we're gonna have to bend the ethics just a little bit. Don't agree. Okay, she just wants you report her. Well, someone needs to calm down and help me with the cheesecakes. Come on. Are you sure you don't want to ride home? Uh, it's just a couple blocks. I'll walk off some veggies. Okay. Well, thank you again for seeing the help with the dishes. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, I'm sure you and Marsha can figure things out. <sighs> Simone. Oh, fine, I'll drop it, but... If she shows up at Cosmo night, I'm gonna say something. <laughs> Good night, Simone. Night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Simone! Simone! You forgot your cheesecake stuff. Oh, right. Any chance I could get that ride? Let me get my keys. But hands off the radio. Oh, God. I'm not listening to country for two whole blocks. <laughs> well, I would call that a success, huh? I'd say that we pulled it off. Thank you for doing this. I know it's a lot to ask. Yeah. Well, let's just hope that Marsha's impressed. I think she's great. Maybe we can have her over again sometime, huh? I don't think that's an option. Why not? Remember that therapist that I told you I was seeing? A woman named Marsha? You're kidding. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. I am so sorry. Okay, I'll call her tomorrow and tell her she needs to find another attorney. No, 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 no. It's fine, Nick. I talked to her after dinner, and she said that as long as we keep our relationships professional, mine and hers and hers and yours, then should be no conflict. You sure? I don't want you to feel uncomfortable with your therapy. No, it's... it's fine. Okay. As long as we don't have to keep our relationship professional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. 
You're up early. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a chemistry test this afternoon, so I just want to get some extra study time in. What? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just really proud of you. Well, let's see how I do on the test first. You know what I mean. You've come so far in the past year. Oh, I hate when you bring that up. I just want to leave all that behind me. I know. I know. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to finish studying at the library. Oh, honey, I didn't mean to... No, but I just... I need to focus. I just wanted you to know that we realize how hard you've been working. Well, let's hope Price University does. Still no word? No. But Carmen heard yesterday, so I know that it's going to be soon. Well, you can always live here and you can go to state. Mom. Um, okay. Well, I'll see you tonight. Okay? Okay. I love you. Mm -hmm. So, how'd it go last night? Actually, pretty well. I think she likes us. Well, I think you're right. Just called. And she's signing with us. Yes, fantastic. Whatever you did last night, keep doing it. Actually, I was wondering if I could hand this one off to you. Hand her off? What does that mean? It's the craziest thing. Uh, turns out, she knows my wife. She knows your wife? That's not exactly a problem. Uh, well... Marsha is Beth's therapist. Oh, you're joking. I'm not. Oh, my God. Well, that's not an ethical conflict for you. No. Well, then what's the problem? There isn't a problem. I just don't want it to be awkward for my wife. Did Beth say it was awkward? No, but I... Nick, let me be very clear here. Signing Marsha Davies is make it or break it for the firm. And it's make it or break it for you, pal. So you need to decide what a little bit of awkwardness is worth, okay? Because, look, therapy is a lot like the law. People come to you with their problems, lie to you about what they are, refuse to take your advice, and expect things to get better. And you're supposed to smile, take their money, and pretend you don't know they're lying, and keep your mouth shut about everything they tell you. And if you and I can do that, there's no reason in the world that Marsha Davies can't. Unless you think she's some sort of psychopathic psychologist. You're right. You're right. I appreciate the advice, Trevor. You know, I thought I was wrong once. But I was wrong. <laughs> and we'll need delivery of the adjusted estimates by the 26th so that we can update them before the presentation. I'll call over to MVE in the morning. Great. Or did you want to have Marsha call? <laughs> Simo, <laughs> we've talked about this. It was a completely random fluke. That's pretty freaking random. You don't think there's something off about her? Off like what? I don't know, I just got a vibe. I didn't know there was a vibe involved. Maybe we should look into her. I already did. You what? I called uh, Dr. Ellis, asked him what he thought of her. <laughs> You're kidding me. And what did uh, Dr. Ellis say? <sighs> he said Marsha's excellent. Really? Well, she hasn't seen her in the office for a while, but she's a great therapist, and he refers people to her all the time. So why are we still talking about this? I guess we're not. All right. Get those papers to me, please. Hello? Beth, it, it's Marcia. Uh, did we have an appointment? I thought that we were meeting on Friday. Yes, we are. I just wanted to see how you're doing after last night. I know it was a little unexpected. A little? <laughs> well, maybe you'd like to meet up today uh, just to process it. Not, not a session, just a check-in. Um, I just want to make sure that you're feeling okay after everything. Uh... Yeah, that would be nice. Great. So how about I pick up a couple of coffees and I meet you at that park near your office? Say half an hour? Okay. See you then. See you then. Hey there. Oh. I'm glad we could meet. Me too. 
it's nice to get out of the office for a bit. Oh, yes, and we're much less likely to be accosted by angry randos out here. <laughs> Who was he? Or can you not say? Well, he's an ex of one of my clients. He keeps coming to sessions hoping to find her. She's trying to get a restraining order. Scary. Yeah, so if, if you see him again, just let me know right away, okay? You got it. So, how do you feel last night went? I guess that's really more of a question for you. Well, I don't think it could have gone any better. You know, Nick seems to have everything well in hand, and dinner was delicious. Oh, well, I had some help. Nick did the growing, and Jess has been great in the kitchen ever since she was a little kid. Yeah, she seems really great. You know, it's a shame that she couldn't stay for dessert. Well, she's been so busy with her senior year. I noticed. And she and I haven't really been connecting lately. Well, maybe you should bring her into one of your sessions. What? Well, I, I know that your relationship has been complicated, and sometimes it's just nice to have a third-party facilitator uh, help with the communication. I don't think so. Why not? I'm just not really comfortable with that idea. I've just, I've told you so much about myself, and I just think that I need to keep my therapy life separate from my everyday life. Perhaps a one-on-one, -on -one, then. Beth, I really think that I could help... I appreciate it, Marsha, but the answer's no. All right, then. <laughs> I understand. Such a jerk. I don't know why. Nothing that I ever did to him. For some reason, he just says it out for me, and I don't get it. But I'm going to see you tomorrow, Bye. okay? Bye. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's totally my fault. I am such a klutz. I, I dropped my keys, and I can't seem to find where they went. Oh. Um. Here they are. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I know you. You're Beth's daughter, right? I, I was at your house last night for dinner. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, what brings you to high school? Oh, what would you believe me if I said I was 17 years old? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but I would believe that you were an undercover officer trying to bust a high school crime ring. <laughs> no, I'm just helping out with the counseling department. Uh, yeah, I work at a couple of the schools around town. Uh, well, I will definitely tell my parents that you said hi. Okay. Uh, mind if I ask you one more favor? Do you know of any good places to get coffee around here? I am about to collapse unless I get caffeinated. Well, yeah, um, I was on my way to study over at Phil's Diner. Mind if I follow? Um, yeah, yeah, sure, of course. Okay. <laughs> So, how do you know my mom? Oh, we met a little while ago. She's such a lovely woman. Yeah, well, she can be. Though I suggest you do not come home after curfew. <laughs> so, what are all these uh, shapes and squiggles? Oh, these. Um, so, they call it Matt. Uh, but I think they're pretty much just an updated version of medieval torture. <laughs> so, what are your plans for college? Well, most of my friends are staying around here. But not you, though. I don't know. You know, I kind of just want to see what else is out there. You know? Mm -hmm. Is that why you're studying so hard? Well, um, I applied to Price for early admission. I just... I, w I want to see what my options are. I don't want to limit myself. Because what if I could do something great? You could. <laughs> yeah, well, try telling my mom that. Is she not supportive? Well, you see, it's not that she's unsupportive, but I think she just wants me to stay close to home. Because of last year. What do you mean? The drunk driving. It sounds like you had a really tough go of it. She told you about that? Oh, well, don't, don't worry. You know, it's not uncommon for someone your age to act out a little bit. <sighs> She's never gonna let me move past that, is she? I spent this past year trying to prove that I've grown up. 
But she's never going to be able to see me as anything except for the kid behind the wheel of that car. Well, I don't think that's true. I, I think she's just not ready to let you be out there on your own yet. She loves you. Yeah, well, she's got a funny way of showing it, huh? Jess? You know, try to think of it from your mom's perspective. You know, this past year has been hard on her, too. Why do you think she's been working so much? What? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, are you saying that my mom's been working so much so that she doesn't have to, to be around me? No, I didn't say that. But did she? Jess. Forget it. I have to study. So. Of course, so good luck with your medieval torture. Thanks. They forgot to include the overtime numbers, so we're just waiting on that update. Hi, sweetie. Let me call you back. You're home early. I couldn't really focus. Oh, well, you deserve a break. I'm home early, too, and I thought maybe we could make dinner together. I'm not hungry. No? Well, I have something that might up your appetite. From Price? Mm-hmm. What does it say? What do you say? I didn't get in. I can apply again with my new SAT scores. Oh, honey. What? This is what you wanted anyway, isn't it? What? For me to get rejected. So that I have to stay home and go to state. All because of a stupid mistake that I made a year ago. No, I... You know I, what? I believed you when you said that you were over it. But you're never going to let this go, are you? Jess. Just leave me alone. Wait, honey, I... Hello? Yes, but I... Uh, right now? Um, yeah, I can send those right now. Okay, yeah, I'm sending them right now. I don't know what happened. She just completely cut me off. She'll come around. Yeah, try to remember your emotions at that age. I'd rather forget. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are things otherwise? Better, I think. I've finally been able to focus on my work, which is really good because we have that presentation this afternoon. You've been working hard on that. Yeah, for the last few months. My boss's boss has been breathing down her neck and our CEO is in from New York. That's a lot to worry about. It is. But thank God I have Simone. You know, she's handling the slides so I can focus on my talk. Sounds like you guys are a good team. Yeah. It's funny. She swore she would never work in the corporate world. But when she saw how much pressure I was under, she agreed to come on board to help me out. And she's great. She's been with us for a year. And how's that going? Oh, well, it's a bit of an adjustment for her. <laughs> <laughs> she's a bit of a square peg. She doesn't like to wear her shoes in the office, and she takes naps in her car. And she's always threatening to quit every week or two. Other than Nick. She's really the only other person I can truly trust. Well, about most things. What does that mean? Uh, it's nothing, never mind. Yeah. You know, if there's anything that I've learned doing therapy, the one thing that the client doesn't want to talk about is exactly what we should be talking about. Um, yeah, well, she just, she thinks that I shouldn't continue seeing you. Why is that? Um, please don't take offense to this, but uh, she said she got a bad vibe. I think it was because of dinner the other night. Beth, you asked me to stay. Oh, I know. I know. I, uh, I think she just thinks you're unconventional, which, coming from her, is, is pretty hilarious. Mm. You know, sometimes when we start to get better, our, our friends start to be scared that they're losing the version of us that they know. Maybe. She's very protective. She actually called Dr. Ellis to ask about you. Oh, and what did Dr. Ellis have to say? He said that you're great. And I agree with him. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> so, back to this presentation. What time is that today? Hmm, 
four o'clock. So four more hours? All this work, months and months of hard work pays off. You know, working in the corporate world, it just, it takes a lot out of you. I have long hours and I worry about Jess and, and Nick. It's just, it's, it's a lot. So I, uh, I'm grateful for the job. I just, um, you know, try to stay focused and forget about the attack. I'm going to take my nap for an hour before the presentation. I'll just finish up some details now. Okay. All right, I'll catch you later. I'm so sorry to just drop in like this, but I left your jacket at my office. I wanted you to have it. Hmm, that's so nice of you, but that's actually not my jacket. It's not? Oh, of course. I, I know whose it is. I'm so sorry that I bothered you. No, not at all. That was really thoughtful. <laughs> you know, since I'm here, I'm supposed to get this to your husband. It's for the estate filings. Save me a snap? Uh, of course. I better not. I realize that I didn't make myself a copy, so I'll just get it to him next week. Uh, I can make you a copy. Are you sure? I don't want to be any more of a bother. No, I'm sure. I'll be right back. Hey, just hey. one? Uh, yeah, front and back. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Date this, but don't worry, I fixed it before I made the copy. Oh, thank you so much. Sure. Good luck with your presentation. Thank you. I'll see you next week. Knock, knock. It's time. Okay. All right, you ready? You got my new slides this afternoon? I, yes, and you're sure you use the updated numbers from the Q form? I'm sure. And you made a bullet point that has the five-year projections? Mm -hmm, I did. What about that one slide? Do we add it? Beth, everything we talked about is done. Now let's go in there and kick some corporate booty. Let's do this. Great. Hello, everyone. I know we only have a few minutes, so I'm going to jump right in. Over the last three months, we've been developing a proposal for a complete security system overhaul. The security breach in Boston cost the company $6 million. Um... I, um, um, I'm sorry, sir, um, see, um, oh my gosh, so sorry, sir, um, Shin, Simone, oh, yeah, yeah, um, I don't know, what the hell were you doing, Simone? I, I know that I care about your job, but I need mine. I have been working on this for months. I know that, okay? I, I, you know, I can't believe that I trusted you. You never wanted to work here. You never took this job seriously. God, what was I thinking? Beth, please. I would never do something like that, okay? Beth, you have to believe me. It doesn't matter what I believe. Okay, now I have to go in there and I have to fix this. Yeah, yeah, no, we can still- Alone, Simone. I have to go in there and I have to fix this alone.
Hi, this is Simone Mitchell. I need to talk to Dr. Ellis. Thank you for coming. I'm so sorry about the uh, the mix-up. Have a safe flight home. Yeah. We'll talk. Simone, it's me. Call me back. We need to talk. See you next week. Thank you, Dr. Ellis. My book. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'll be out of here. It's okay. It's okay. It's a bestseller, you know? Yeah. Nice to see you again. You as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's amazing. Uh, you know, you never really know what to do with one of these things once you win one. Simone, I've been trying to call you all day. Um, will you please call me back? We need to talk. Simone? in there all day. Simone. Hey, wake up. Oh, oh, Simone! Simone! No, Simone, Simone, help! No. Help! Somebody help! Help! Somebody! Simone! I was walking down to my car. And I saw her car here and I, I thought that she was asleep. I opened the door. And she fell out. Mrs. Curtis, we're gonna do everything we can to find a suspect and bring her justice, okay? Are you gonna need a ride home? No. My husband's on his way. We'll stay here until he arrives. Thank you. Thank you. Jose, do you think it was my attacker? It's too early to say. Detectives, please. If this was your attacker showing up again, it appears to be a revenge attack. Because Simone saved me. Again, Mrs. Curtis, it's too soon to say. But why would... Why Beth. would... Oh. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. Hey, sir. We're gonna do everything we can, okay? We already have a few leads, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll be in touch. Thank, Thank you. you. Come on, let's get you home. Oh, Brought you some tea. Thank you. Are you warm enough? I'm fine. Get you a sweater? I said I'm fine. 
can't do anything for you? No, there's nothing anyone can do. I just, I need some space right now. I understand. Well, I'm here if you need me, okay? Hey, Nick, please. I just need some space, okay? I just want to be alone right Beth, I am so sorry. How awful. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened? Oh. Um, the police think... They think that my attacker might have come back. But he came back looking for me. Oh, that must be very frightening. It is. But I think that the worst part is just the sense of deja vu. How do you mean? I mean, I've, I've been through all of this already. You know, being frightened just to walk to my car, being asked how I'm doing. You know, I fight every single morning just to put on a brave face. I can't stand it. I can't stand going through this all over again. I just want to be left alone. You know, even with Nick, I keep telling him that I need space, but I think he's having a hard time accepting that. He just wants to help, but he can't. He's just making it worse. You know, it's difficult to watch someone that you love be in pain, be hurting, and not be able to help. I know. But the best thing for me right now is just to let me mourn in peace. Marsha. Glad to find you working so late. <laughs> I was just driving by. I thought I'd drop off the approvals that we talked oh, about. Thank you. Yeah, have a seat. Thanks. Oh. So, how are you? I, I heard about Simone. Uh, yeah, it's awful, isn't it? Yeah. Are you doing okay? I'm fine. But uh, poor Beth, knowing that this guy came back for her, is just really scary. Oh, it must have been terrible to see her go through that. Yeah, I wish I could help. She just needs to know that you're there for her. Yeah. Actually, I, I really shouldn't say anything about this, but... Say anything about what? Uh, is... Does Beth seem like herself right now? What do you mean? No one can really know that I talked to you about this. It would be unethical. Uh, Marsha, I'm, I'm not comfortable with that. I understand. And if it wasn't so important, I wouldn't say anything. But I, I just need you to make sure that you're keeping a really close eye on Beth right now. What, what do you say? Is, is she going to hurt herself? I can't go into detail about it, but you just, just be there to support her. Even if she pushes you away, you need to be there. With everything that she's gone through, you, you, it just wouldn't be unexpected for her to blame herself. Is, there, is Beth blaming herself for this? I can't say too much, but Simone saved her from her attacker, and then when he came back for her... I never even thought about that. Poor Beth. Yeah. Well, just be sure you're checking up on her. You know, just let her know that you care enough to just push through all those barriers that she's created. She has been distant lately. Yeah. What she needs right now is her family. She needs to know you're there. Thanks, Marsha. I really appreciate it. Nick, something is seriously wrong with these numbers. Marsha, I am. Do, do we have a meeting schedule? Uh, Marsha was just dropping off some signatures. Actually, while you're here, we have some questions about the estate. It'll just take a couple of minutes. Actually, you know, I've, I've got to run, but uh, maybe we could set something up for next week? Well? Nick, let me know if I can do anything else to help. Of course, thanks. What was that about? Nothing, just a personal matter. What's going on? Take a look at these. Looks like there's an issue with the audit. Did she say anything about it while she was here? I have not been able to reach her financial guy. No, no, but I'll ask her about it. Make sure you do. Can't move forward until it's squared away. Keep it. That.
Hey there. Hey. How are you feeling? This is the company picnic this summer. <laughs> Simone hired a magician and a clown and didn't tell them about each other. I remember that. I've never seen a clown get so territorial before. <laughs> I can't believe she's gone. I know. Do you want to talk about it? I told you, Nick. I do want to talk about it. I just need some time to process it on my own first. Beth, I'm your husband. I'm here for you. I'm listening. I know, you... and I appreciate that. I just am not ready. I just don't want you to bottle everything up inside and... and, and... Okay, okay, Nick, you say that you want to listen. So why don't you just listen? Hey, I don't want to talk. Beth, you can't blame yourself. <gasps> what? Look, I know this is hard, but you know, feeling like you caused this or like it, it should have been you somehow. Well, just... How can you even say that? Nick, it almost was me. And it's natural to feel guilty about that. <gasps> but for what? I was attacked and my best friend died and somehow you think that this is my fault? <sighs> of course I don't think it's your fault. I just don't want you to think that either. <gasps> Thanks, Nick. Thanks for telling me what you think I feel, but shouldn't feel. Thank you. Thanks for that. I'm trying to help, Beth. Well, stop! Please. Just stop. Beth, come on. message hey listen I got a couple of questions regarding the documents you now maybe just a clerical error call me back I can't believe she's gone. You know, I keep thinking about every Halloween when um, when she would come over dressed up as <laughs> like a zombie chicken. Yeah, or, um, the ghost of the Easter Bunny. <laughs> she loves spending Halloween with you. I loved it too. So, SATs are tomorrow. You ready? I hope so. Carmen and I are going to spend the night totally distressing, relaxing before tomorrow. So. You certainly earned it. I hope so. Jess, no matter what happens, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Mom. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Mrs. Curtis? Detective. Do you have a minute? Uh, yes, please. Come inside. This way. You caught him. We picked up a suspect a few miles from your office following another attack. He confessed last night. <sighs> Thank God. There's still something we need to discuss. I'd love to help with an ID, but Detective, no, I... No, it's not that. It's about Simone. What about her? Our suspect confessed to the attacks, but he claims he didn't attack Simone. We're checking his alibi right now. Alibi? Yes, he says he was out of state in North Dakota, attending his grandmother's wake. I don't understand. Whoever killed Simone, I don't believe it was him. Then her killer's still out there? When was the last time you saw Simone? Um, we had a presentation at my office uh, the afternoon that she that afternoon. I understand from your colleagues that you and Simone had a fight? There was a problem with the presentation. Um, we exchanged a few words. Wait, so there was a fight and you exchanged words and you didn't talk to her after that? No, I... Why are you asking me these questions? Detective, am I a suspect? Not at this time. 
I guarantee we'll have more questions. You have my number if you need anything else. Thank you for your time. We'll be in touch. Beth. Yeah, come in. I was about to call you. I had to stop for coffee. I haven't been sleeping at night. Well, I would have heard you some. Mm, triple shot of espresso. Ah, oh, that bad, huh? Mm. They uh, found the man who was my attacker. Wow. How do they know it's him? Oh, he confessed. Matt, that must be a relief. But they don't think it's the same man who killed Simone. Why would they think that? Oh, he has an alibi. You know, I've been going over and over it in my head, and it doesn't make any sense. I mean, who would want to hurt Simone? No, I, I understand your confusion. She had no enemies. Well, sometimes it is difficult for us to see the flaws in people that we love. Uh, I don't understand. We, you have to remember that I met Simone, and, and well, I'm sure that she was a wonderful friend to you. Yes, she was. She also had the capacity to be quite rude and abrasive. What are you saying? Well, it's possible that she made someone angry. Some people don't respond well to that. Possibly she said the, the wrong thing at the wrong time, and she suffered the consequences. So you're saying that she deserved this? You're talking about my best friend who just died. I understand, Beth, and, and I know this is a very difficult time for you. And I am just trying to help you understand. Oh, you're not helping. You know, no one is helping. I mean, ever since I started talking to you, things just seem to get worse. I understand that it could feel that way, Beth, but you've been under a lot of stress. You had the attack and the relationship with your daughter, now Simone, and, and then your presentation. Wait, my presentation? Yeah, to, to your CEO. When did we talk about my presentation? I have it right here. We, we talked about it the, the day after it happened. Uh, you were talking about Simone and, um, listen, I wouldn't be surprised if you've forgotten. You have been under so much stress lately. Right. Beth, I think it would be helpful if we processed your relationship um, You know, Marcia, I have to go. Go? I, yeah, you mentioned my presentation and I, I just remember that I'm supposed to be on a conference call. No, Beth. No, I'm picking up the slack for Simone, so I am so busy. I'm sorry. Beth, I really um, feel I'll like you should see you go. at our next session. Oh, uh, if you're sure. See you then. It's okay, Jess. We're gonna get your mom the help she needs. Get out of my house. Bethany, please. It's all right. I warned you she might be resistant. Beth, we're only here to help. Help? Help? She sabotaged my work presentation. Beth, please. She just, did it. Just sit down. Hear, hear us out, please. She's messing with my life. 
Beth, you have been under an enormous amount of stress. It's no wonder you're, you're trying to cope. You're, you're blaming other people. I'm not blaming anyone, okay? She did it. What do you want? Mom, please. All any of us wants is to get you some support. No, I need you out of my house right now. Beth, listen to yourself. You need help. No, I don't need help. I need you to listen to me. Beth. <laughs> no. Beth! You need help. I can't let you stay here unless you are willing to get it. You can't kick me out of my own house. Sorry, I am protecting our daughter. What? I can explain everything. Beth, please, just stay somewhere else tonight. And we will talk about this tomorrow. I don't want to have to call someone. This isn't over. Get out of my house. I cannot believe I didn't see this coming. Oh. It's okay, Nick. It was a long time coming. It's gonna be okay. I promise. Marsha Davies. Detective Stringer, it's Beth Curtis. Call me back. I need you to meet me in my house, please. Hello? We are in major trouble, Nick. Call Jess. Calling Jess. Mom? Jess, I need you to listen to me. Mom, what's going on? She's not who she says she is. Mom, I don't understand. Jess, I know what Marsha told you. She is lying to you. Hey, I need you to trust me. Can you do that? Go ahead. I think that she may have hurt Simone. And I think that she may try to hurt you. I need you to go and get Daddy right now. Uh, okay, okay. Wait, 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 what are you talking about? Marsha Davies. The title clearance came back on their property. She can hear it from her father. And? And he's not her father. And he's not freaking dead. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's not possible. Let me, let me give her a call. Call her whatever you want. I don't know who she is or what she is, but she screwed us, pal. Why, why would she do that? She's crazy. Trevor, we met with her. She's not crazy, I'm telling you. Oh, did somebody fall down? Nick? <laughs> Nick? Someone's in the kitchen. Yes, I'm going right now. Daddy! Jess? 
sorry, Jess can't come to the phone right now. Marsha. <laughs> Not Marsha, but I think you already figured that out. You, if you hurt my family. Oh, <laughs> hurt your family. Oh, we both know that that's your job. Yeah. Pushing away your husband, judging your daughter. My job is to put them out of their suffering. We'll see you when you get home, sweetheart. Oh, wait! No! Yes! Jess! Oh, which way did she go? Did she go this way? Jess! Your mother told me how you like to make things difficult, but let's not draw this out! Little girl, it's gonna be easier this way. Your mom said you're never gonna amount to anything anyway! Too much baggage for this world! I'll be doing the world a favor! You know, it'll be easier on your mom to have you gone. I don't blame her. Because the truth is, you're just not very right! <laughs> Oh, oh, you were one of the lucky ones, do you hear me? Lucky, but you didn't appreciate it. Your parents gave you everything, and how do you repay them? Ingratitude, disrespect, drinking. Oh, they don't miss you at all. <laughs> Jess, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's breathing. He's dead. Go call an ambulance. Go, go, go. Come on. Wake up. Just you and me, Beth. Oh, why are you doing this? Oh, why? Yeah, why? Oh, everyone knows that a good therapist doesn't give you the answers. She leads you to find them out for yourself. I'm not a therapist. Oh, no, that is true. But I've had enough therapy to be pretty good at it. I had you convinced. What's wrong with you? Depends on who you ask. Let's see, we have reactive detachment disorder when I was seven years old. Oh, then we have intermittent explosive disorder when I was 12. Oh, and the narcissistic personality disorder by the time I was 17. Oh, then we have antisocial personality disorder. Oh, that one hurt, Beth. They said that I was superficially charming. I mean, can you imagine superficially charming? Do I seem superficially charming to you? <laughs> you know, you know Marsha didn't think so either. You know, no, well, not until the very end, you know, when I had her strangled right at her very own desk. Oh, and there I was cleaning up the mess, and I find you. Poor little frightened thing, so lost. 
I saw myself in you. I couldn't let you sit out there alone. <laughs> oh, you're wrong. I needed the help. Why? Because somebody frightened you. Oh, because somebody disrupted your perfect little life, huh? What? You had a loving husband. You have a daughter who is healthy. You have a job that you love. You have friends. Oh, but that wasn't enough for you, was it? It just wasn't enough for you. Poor little rich girl. Oh, poor baby. You're crazy. Oh, will I like that term? It is stigmatizing. Oh, but I know you will never say that again, will you? You know why? Because I'm going to help you. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna say goodbye to you. One and for all. No, it's gonna be easy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ridiculous, I'm fine. Oh, honey, I just got yeah. checked out officially. Okay? You okay? You okay? Yes. We're gonna go to the hospital and get her head checked. Exactly. We're right behind you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Daddy. You got hit in the head. Based on what you've told her, like I owe you an apology for all this. No apology necessary. Just happy to have my life back. I wouldn't change it for the world. So, what about Marsha? Whoever she is. Well, I don't think we'll be hearing from her again for a long time. I'll call you tomorrow to take a statement. You should be with your husband. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. All right, ma'am, take care of yourself. All right. Let's get you to the hospital. Let's go see Dad. for a fresh start. Someday I want to be a therapist and help people. Mm. 